Hi, I'm Daniel from Project Portfolio Office, here to walk you through the improvements that we've made to the heat map. Now, the heat map has been moved to a graph. This allows us to indicate or include not only column totals, which you're used to, but also row totals. Both column totals and row totals can be hidden. They can also be changed from a sum to an average of their included items. In addition, we've added in a tooltip. This allows us to do two things, show more information and also reduce the amount of views that you run your dashboard for. So currently we see 228 planned hours for Adrian, uh, which equates to a percentage of 136% of Adrian's capacity. Note at the bottom we have our color legend that will indicate where this particular cell falls on that legend. The two views that you were used to running were driven by a drop down planned hours or percentage of capacity. We've now combined those two views into a single view with that tooltip. There is still the click through which takes you through to the monthly planning detail report that allows you to see which projects the 228 hours that Adrian is planned for is comprised of. We hope you enjoy these new features. And if you'd like to stay up to date with these features and improvements, um, you're welcome to sign up to the blog. How do you do that? You go to ppo.com, our website, hover over company and click on blog. This will then allow you to catch up on product news as well as sign up for the blog to get the um, email that gets sent every Thursday. Thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.